Hi, I'm Rob, and in this Gems of War video, I'm going to show you a cool team you can use to go through this faction assault in the weirwoods. As ever, first things first, you can go to the shop and grab yourself a tier 1 to get a potion of enchantment. All your troops start enchanted at the start of each and every battle for this event only. But do bear in mind, if your horde level is level 100 or more in the weirwoods already, you will already have a potion of enchantment stored, so no need to actually buy one. Unless you want to buy more tiers, in which case you have to buy them in order, so have to buy it again anyway. A tier 4 is a pretty okay-ish weapon. The Beastly Claw. Deal magic plus 2 damage to the first two enemies, boosted by allied beasts, and summon a beast. And it has Leaf Storm as well, which is Leaf. So when you cast this, you get a Leaf Storm, and it uses green, so it helps it get charged up again. Not fantastic, but not that bad either. The fact it damages the first two enemies can often hit a stealthy opponent in second place, for example, who ordinarily might be tricky to hit. So yeah, not a sort of thing you could use all the time, but it's all right. Well, right on to the team itself. I'll show a different team in a minute, but the basic team I'd use for this for a no mythic option is the good old Shield of Earth Gaia, two times Tesla, and Holy St. Astra. Holy St. Astra, giving all human allies a 50% start with mana, gives life and armor to all allies, creates a light storm, and enchants all humans. Shield of Earth Gaia, gives an ally magic plus one armor, boosted by all enemy attack, then enrage and barriers them. And then Tesla, boosted by all that, deals eight scatter damage, boosted by all ally and enemy armor. That's eight true scatter damage. So as the enemy gets harder, she scales in power. So let me show this just once or twice because Show a different team, Tesla is on a bit of a break, she's taking it easy. She needs a recharge. All we're going to do is look for blue or red in the early stages. That'll be enough to get the job done. The boost is 316. We'll chuck on medals of guard to increase Tesla's armor. And it's going to be that straightforward for the early stages. Really, really easy. So with Tesla taking some time off, we can take a look at a different option for a no mythic team. This is really good as well. The Shield of Earth Sky are we going to keep? And then we can have something like two times Rowan and the Mirage Queen. If you don't mind forsaking the 50% mana start you get from the Mirage Queen, you can even pop in three Rowans, and that is very effective as well. The advantage of the Mirage Queen, particularly on the lower levels, is she gives all elemental allies a 50% start with mana, which is the whole team and then curses all enemies and converts all green gems to doom skulls. Useful spell, really good, especially when you get those four matches. You want to make sure you get four match alignment with those green to doom skulls. Make sure you pick up the extra turn at the same time. And then Rowan's spell deals scatter damage boosted by her armor. So the more we can boost up her armor, the more powerful her spell is going to be. And she recovers one armor at the start of each turn and gains one magic for each blue ally. A little boosting her magic there at the same time so two of them we want to make sure she's protected as well as gets a boost in armor so we can use the shield of her sky again give an ally magic plus one armor boosted by all enemy attack so this boost does still get affected by how powerful the enemy is on those later delve levels when things get really hard that boost is going to be absolutely huge we're going to throw it on rowan and massively boost up her damage really really cool so we'll cast it on our rowan if we get to cast it again, we'll throw it on a different one because we want to give him a barrier. If you don't have the Mirage Queen, she is available from the Underworld in the Sunken Fleet. But failing that, you can even pop in a third Rowan for untold amounts of damage. Going to be in Elementalist class for this. Fantastic class. Stun, freeze, burn, and entangle a random enemy when matching four or more gems is really cool. We can have impact, inflict stun when enemies deal skull damage to me. We can have stuff like insulated, stone circle, watery binding, rock solid, really cool. We're collecting a brown for the weapon. Bit of extra bonus brown helps the weapon get charged up quicker as well. And Lord of Storms, elementals gain one magic when an ally casts a spell. Really good indeed. Plus two brown, plus one blue banner for this. Let's jump in and just finish off these last few battles on this. Early level one, then we'll jump to the delve itself. Rowan's ready next round. Anyway, we chuck on Medals of Guard in this team to help boost up Rowan's power. There you go, it's, uh, magic plus three, so it's 87 scatter damage for me, boosted by her armor. The boost is 442. Now it will be less if you're a newer player to the game, but don't worry about that so much, because when we cast that Shield of Eskaya, especially when, when, when we're in that delve, 
we are going to get absolutely huge boosts to her power, regardless of your player level. But do, do take the four matches though. Like uh, when you're playing this in the delve itself, make sure you grab these four matches. Make sure you get the stun, freeze, burn, and entangle effect on the enemy. Really, really useful. And take a look out for those four matches as well on those green to doom skulls from the Mirage Queen. Very handy indeed. Because not only is it a four match, it's all obviously the conversion to Doom Skulls is going to do a ton of damage, but it's a four match, which means you're going to get that stun, freeze, burn, and entangle effect at the same time. All right, so let's dive into Weirwoods itself then and do this. My horde is quite high on this because it is quite a, a tricky one to do, but yeah, you're still going to get a massive boost from Rowan when you cast the Shield of Eskaya onto Rowan. Let's uh, get this team changed. Done. Like that. Here we go. So now it is important to get Rowan boosted up. You don't want to just rush through it like we did in that early stage of that one second ago. We are looking for four matches this time. Want to make sure you get those stun, freeze, burn, and entangle effects on the enemy, but we can cast this. Let's chuck it on Rowan. Now let's take a look at the difference in power. The first one, or we'll take a look at the second one rather first, the boost is the standard boost, which is 442. This Rowan, which has got the boost, is 1132. And that's that boost of, what, well, over 700 is not due to uh, my stats, it's due to the enemy stats. So even if you're a new player, you are going to get that boost at the same time. But we still want to take something like that. We don't want to leave the enemy skull hits, but we have got a barrier because we collect brown. So we can actually leave that skull hit. Now they're going to get impacted at the same time. So we can do that damage. This Rowan is up next round anyway. The boost is 442. It's not going to be enough to kill him. So we can have to get ready to go again. But it won't take long. We can look out for green to doom skulls. You can look out for these brown matches to get the barrier back. Don't want to give the enemy an absolute ton of red though. So let's cast this. That's wiped out the first troop. Let's get that barrier back now. We've still got one. All is good. Green to Doom Skulls anywhere? Not doing. Let's get that Ferrara in and finish off. Let's play this through now a more normal speed and stroll along the woods at the bottom in the goblin kitchen so four matches when they're there we'll absolutely take but our potion of explosion just got rid of them but we'll always get the shield ready nice and quick and let's cast this on the first one doesn't make any difference because the second one's going to be ready next round anyway because of the Potion of Enchantment. Let's get the first one. Load of damage. We can look out for green to skulls. No do. If we've got any brown, we'll take that. Otherwise, we'll just get our second Roban ready again. Now, this is one really cool thing about the Shield of Sky, which I absolutely love. Our first Roban, which is the one that does the most damage, the boost is 1,222, is one mana short. The Shield of Sky, one of the upgrades, gives one mana to all allies. Which is really cool. I'm going to take this and I hope I don't get a blue or green drop down. I didn't. Good. So we want to cast a Shield of Urskaya. We can still cast it on someone else to get a really good boost. Or we can chuck on that Rowan again to get a further boost. But she got that extra mana look. Cour courtesy of the Shield of Urskaya gives one mana to all allies. Very nice indeed. 1698 is the boost. Absolute obliteration. Right, so let's finish off these last few levels then. Always looking for a brown straight away, in particular a brown four match. Get that boost on, Rowan. Good to get it going again if we can. Don't have to take that because when we do that, like um, we can leave it for the enemy. They're entangled, they're not going to be doing anything. We can just look to cast our ends quickly back to back. There's no blue going on there, so we can cast the second one now. 
and look to finish the job. Oh, I think I took the wrong one now. She's ready. Huge boost. Oh, they barely survived. Can do this because we can get rid of that top troop and then any any ones that any skull hits that are left behind, the next two troops are entangled. And yes, a mana charge from those explosions from the Doom Skulls anyway, which is nice. That was very nice of them to create some mana for us. Thank you very much. So nice and safe, especially with all these stun, freeze, burn and entangles going on. If you're patient and you charge the shield twice then it's better because you get like a, a double effect almost let's, let's concentrate doing it that way let's get a barry on both row ends a lot of that the boost now 1320 on both let's cast one then the other enemy is nearly down already just got to concentrate on getting our one of our row ends up again and and that is it let's do the last room The Mythic Room, let's do the last one. And our stroll through the woods is over. Keep taking in four matches, get that stun, freeze, burn, entangle going. Cast the shield onto Rowan. Make sure you get her barriered. On this level, definitely want to make sure you cast the shield twice if you can. Going to get that boosted up on our Rowan again. If it's not there, you can... Get casting away on the other row ends, stick in some decent damage. Then charge them up again and the job will be pretty much done, I think. Do we need to do that? No, not really, but we can do this. That impact, say there's then for, from some um, damage they were entangled anyway so that's the advantage of being in elementalist class let's get our brand boosted up even more 906 now look at this 1812 very cool let's get her charged up it's okay to take these skull hits on this team with tesla Taking these kind of skull hits does actually reduce Tesla's damage. But not so with Rowan, because she works differently. Not being very nice to me on my uh, green or blue. That's a bit better. And 1,812 is the boost. And that is the last room. So yeah, another really easy team to use. I prefer the Tesla team overall, but not everyone's going to have two Teslas, and that option with Varan is a very nice one. There it is, there's the video. If you enjoyed it, found it useful or helpful, be really cool if you bash that like and subscribe button, it really does help. But most of all, thanks for watching. I'll catch you again next time. Bye for now.